Okay, one more thing that uh, I just realized with this uh, 8 kilowatt uh, EA Sun inverter is that uh, even though it's shut off at the moment, it will still produce uh, 230 volts on the output when there's the input voltage supplied. Okay, so you see there's the on the output at the moment. As you can see, the grid is connected and it's outputting. Uh, sorry, this is the input, but also if we go to the output, you'll see that, yeah, on the output, it's currently, no, sorry, that's a for a day, on the output, hmm, okay, this is now interesting, on the output it shows that it's at zero watts at the moment, however, and that it's, it's on the zero volts, zero hertz but look <laughs> I have lights here and everything is working in my house um, to show you what happens if I turn it on click okay now it's supposed to work not before that now it shows the output uh, as, as 50 hertz having some load outputting 234 volts 235 but as you can see it's still working okay if I turn it off okay should be off now okay it went off but <laughs> it still produces electricity so let me see uh, let's see to verify it yeah there's electricity here and on the output side, yeah, there's electricity here as well. <laughs> the only thing, if if I turn off, so this is the the the, the input side coming from the grid. Uh, there's 32 a amps uh, automatic uh, uh, the, the switch. If I disconnect this one, I just uh, uh, connected it uh, lightly, so I can do this. Okay. Now there is no electricity, and now, yeah, nothing happens. Lights off. However, as you saw, the, the inverter is off. Still, still off. Okay. If I now <laughs> just connect the wire, there goes my electricity. But the inverter still shows. I'll put at zero volts. Okay. And it's not going to be showing anything else until I connect it. Even though it's already working, it's already supplying the output to my loads. That's that's not supposed to happen, okay? Ever. Uh, so that's one thing. Uh, let's go with the with the other thing that uh, uh, I said to do, which is disconnect all the wires on the output. Let's do it. Let's do it live. Okay. So I'll just disconnect it here. I mean, let's shut down the inverter. Maybe that that would be a smart thing to do. Even though, yeah, <laughs> like that's gonna help. <laughs> okay. Let's do it like this. Okay. So off. Let's do it like that. So this one is off now. I mean this is this is nuts. Okay. This one's off and this one's off now. Okay, so everything's disconnected. Let's see what happens. Just turn it on. 50 Hertz, 250. So let's do the experiment that we did before. Uh, we're checking if if I disconnect the no, not the face, yeah, the face wire. Output is, output is 230 volts and 50 hertz. So with nothing connected to the output, it stays on 50 hertz. However, as soon as we connect. The ground wire here.
Yeah, as soon as we connect the ground wire, it goes off. You hear it clicking inside. Yeah, so when I remove the, the ground wire, it goes back to 50 hertz, to, to 50, yeah, to, 50, to 40 hertz, sorry. I don't know what the hell is happening with the inverter, but it's obviously wrong. <laughs> 